this video, I'm gonna show you how we would conduct a Google Business Profile audit so you can grow your business faster. We begin by analyzing all the different factors of the profile. First, let's start with the business name. The fact is, keywords in the business name has a pretty big impact on ranking. But Google tells you not to add keywords to your name. Not a word, not one, not one word. That aren't actually part of your business name. So the way around this would be to make sure that your real world business name actually includes some words that relate to the types of things that you wanna rank for on Google. Make sure these things are consistent across your business website and all your signage in real life. For the address section, we would wanna to check to make sure the listing is following guidelines. If you're a service area business, you should have your address hidden on your listing. Categories are huge when it comes to impacting ranking. It's super important to make sure that you select the right primary category, but also that you add a lot of secondary categories to your listing as well. For the website link, it seems simple and straightforward, but you wanna think carefully about what page on your website you link to. Usually we recommend the homepage unless you are a multi-location business. A lot of businesses ignore the product section. We always check to see if these are filled out regardless if you sell products. If you sell services, you can list those in this section as well. The services section is huge. This section does impact ranking, so it's super important to make sure you have this completely filled out properly. Also, Google doesn't alert us when they add more services to a particular category, because you know, that would be way too helpful of them. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. So make sure you keep an eye on this in case new ones pop up. Sometimes businesses neglect the Google Post section. You definitely want to utilize posts as it's a way to highlight things like offers and specials to your customers. I would say on average, you should probably post about three to four times a month. When it comes to reviews, there is almost nothing else a business owner can do that will impact their bottom line. Aim to get at least 10 on your listing, but don't stop there. Keep them coming as review recency is a ranking factor. Also, make sure that you ask customers to leave photos with their reviews to keep them highlighted longer. When it comes to questions and answers, you wanna make sure you monitor this in case customers are posting things and you wanna make sure they get an answer. When it comes to the Q&A section, not only do you wanna monitor stuff coming in from existing customers, you can also seed your own frequently asked questions so that they're there to help users when needed. You also wanna check your marketplace to see if there are fake listings on Google that are pushing you out of the search results. Make sure you report all the spam. Now you see that evil will always triumph because good is dumb. Also, make sure you don't ignore photos. Real photos of real people are really useful. Avoid stock photos at all costs. If you wanna get more details or hire us to do an audit for you, click here for more details about our local SEO audit service. And that is it.